Now we Riding Q Live, we are live. Before I introduce the guests, one of the guests asked me why I start podcasts. You asked me, you want to know why I started podcasting? <laughs> you, you see, see uh, what happened was I had a dream. I had a dream one day. No, but so I um I have aspirations and interest in screenwriting. Mm-hmm. So I was developing, writing scripts, or whatever, and sending them out, doing that whole shit, whatever. And I didn't like the way it felt. Yeah. I felt like I was begging, like, read me, read me. Now, like, no, I feel like there's a better, more conducive, efficient way to network and get myself out there. So I'm like, instead of trying, and initially this podcast is going to be like more film based than anything. Because okay. back then I was more ignorant to the scene of Philly in general, creatively and music wise. I don't, don't want to talk to these niggas. All we got is me, P, and B, and Coral. I don't talk to them niggas. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, and um, so I just figured it out, but it's going to be film based. I can meet directors and we can develop a. Uh, film that way and da 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 and then as I started doing that I'm like oh there's a lot of people out here that's doing shit like you guys yeah. so let's go hey. hey. sir introduce yourself uh, my name is Leno uh, Leno what you mean what you want whatever oh, uh, my, name is, my name is uh, quick byline uh, my name is my real name is Leno Noble Walker Chester um, but I go by Leno uh, Leno overcame I got a non-profit in two cities Nope. Uh, man. <laughs> no, man. Live by a line. That was like, you know, where yeah. we started. I do so much. <laughs> it is a lot, you know. I do consulting. For, uh, I'm an outreach manager for a company called Treehouse Books. I teach, um, and I'm a commencement speaker, a TED Talk speaker, and entrepreneur. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, stop playing! Right, I'm not sitting next to a whole store. Right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You missed. Yeah. Peace. Um, my name is Tiara. I'm an author. Mm. Book dropping Dope. next month. Mm. Water from my seeds. Check that out. Um, and what else do I do? One time for the title, so they can. Water from my seeds. Mm. That's Um, and I'm a performer. Uh, I call myself a wellness writer. Um, pre-K teacher by day. Um, I was God a previous you. social worker for any inner city youth, um, so I was doing that for a while, which kind of set me on my path to figure out um, yeah. how to shift my own personal narrative because I felt a lot of inner city youth was lacking that self empowerment piece. Yeah. So it served as a mirror. So that's just a byline backstory. So. I follow three people. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, talk to Queen. Name is Mackenzie Rose Brown, mm. but I'm saying Rose Golden. I'm saying mm. Keith, Rose. Blah, blah, blah. Rose. Um, I'm currently a grad student studying urban education and community studies. Mm-hmm. Um, my mantra of my brand or myself is bridging the gap between entertainment and productivity. So for me, with that, like I was never able to do one thing i know i like to have fun but also i like to be productive and and give back so that's like the real um bridge in everything that i do so that's one thing um yeah again i'm a student i'm also a resident director so in that res life field almost out of here um yeah and i also have have an event series called kickback for a cause that was really where that entertainment and productivity stemmed from so it's like we can turn up but we're also going to give back while we do that so yeah and what she also forgot to mention is she's a master photographer because when i met rose shout out to the (laughs) man love tour it was a great event that um us three Mm -hmm. were were invited to went to whatever um so Huh. So left out. Yeah, sorry, King. No, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably know some of your cities and teams. You don't know a lot. It's cool. You probably just can't see teams. Stop being girls. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, I saw these two queens in the corner just like going at it, like this intense photo shoot. I was like, God oh, damn, this is like, I was going, I'm not the picture guy, but I'm just like, I'd be remiss. I like, this is a, a sign from God. Yo, no, nah, get one of them taking picture. Because it was like, and. I'm, I'm thinking I was asking, like, oh, you know, when y'all done take my picture? I'm thinking I was like, all right, it's probably the end. Yeah. They probably got that money shot by now. 20 minutes later, they was like, yo, <laughs> they sweating. <laughs> we I done. On the floor. Yeah, on the floor. I, boots, bro, I, I, you know, I see on Twitter, it's like, yo, I need friends like this that's going to get on the floor. I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking they do that one time to yeah. get the Oh, no. Nah, they stay thing. on the floor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> wow. So once it was finally my turn, I was privileged. I'm like, you know, do my little one booze like. You know, nigga shit. She was like, no, st- sit, no, don't move. Hands in your pocket now. Direct Jack it off. Shit. I was Direct like, shit. that's what you mean. God damn. Thank you, Queen. So, yes, thank yes. you. Shout out to you. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Of course. I don't even think I saw you there. Did you see me? I did okay, not. I, I was looking for you, but I did not. Uh, Never seen you in person yet, so. Nah. But, um, so, I was going to start with something that was a little more lighter, but let's get right into shit, cause, get right to the shits, because we had a nice little off my conversation about school, you know, almost on your master's. Congrats again. Yeah, um, you were speaking on um, thinking about going back to your masters. Yeah. So around that, let's talk about like you could know 
millennials, the generation always bitch and complain about mm-hmm. something, whatever. The after school depression, because mm-hmm. that's something as well, like the quarter life crisis, that whole time. And you know, speaking on generally what you what you guys have heard about it and your experiences along those lines of maybe just feeling like you know at a young age being at certain crossroads and feeling like what's gonna be next what should i do should i go back to school should i have finished should i have done more da, da, da. i know something i've looked back even though i did graduate and i don't really regret how it went i like no i could have maximized certain things yeah. while mm-hmm. i was there so yeah. um it's it's crazy that that, that question because um <clears throat> i'm coming out this season right now where i feel like i lost my voice but I'm really regaining my voice again, um, cause you know, in, in undergrad, you know, I was flourishing. You know, I did, the, I did the, um, I was flying out the country a lot, doing speaking engagements. You know, I had the honor to get flown out so many places, so I got so much success early. I'm like, yo, this is about to be my life. Mm-hmm. It slowed down, and you know, it's finna be a breeze. <laughs> it's finna be a breeze. <laughs> and um, you know, at the college the first year, you know, I was doing my entrepreneur thing. You know, I got some like the TED Talk, the Steve Harvey, and it was just like after that, I was like, yo, this is it. And then it slowed down, and you know, I started teaching, and I was like, man, this is not what I want to do. You know, and um, I I started getting like discouraged. And I go, I go to my other job at Treehouse, and it's just like my, so much of my time is consumed in a day, and I don't have time to do what I want to do with my nonprofit. I don't have time to do what I want to do with my speaking. Mm-hmm. And I was just in this season like, yo, this is this is not it. You know. And I, I felt like I lost my voice because I was giving my voice to these two entities from six o'clock in the morning to six at night. And once I get home, I'm exhausted. Like yeah. currently, I'm, I'm beat right now. Mm-hmm. But now I'm just, I, you know, I read this book by Devin Franklin, you know, produced by Faith. And it's like, you know, God produced puts by faith. You, produced by faith. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you are putting these places for reason and season. And I feel like right now I'm just learning so much about myself. And it's like really giving me a, a different voice, you know, going to therapy talking about these experiences is really cultivating me, you know, in, in a different space. So I'm, I'm talking about mental health. You know, I have this platform I want to build. It's called Healing My 12-Year-Old Self. Where I'm I think, about that inner child, boy. Yeah, it's, it's a lot about that. And I feel like a lot of trauma happens at 12 years old. And I'm just... Specifically? You know, yeah, specifically. I think that's when we first, like, cognizant about our feelings, our emotions, our first crush, our first letdown. It's really at 12, like, understanding, like, where our dad is, where our mom is, and things like that. You know, I think it starts at 12 years old, you know, sixth grade. You know, I teach sixth grade, so I really see it from a different view. And, um, you know, I just right now I have my event coming up to March 4th. This is my fourth year doing it in my neighborhood. I'm from 60th Street. And um, I wasn't going to have, you know, I was in, I I wouldn't say I was depressed, but I was in a little funk. I'm like, I'm not having it. Good distinguish. I'm not having it, yeah. I'm not having it, but, um, you know, I'm having it. It's it's March 21st of, of March. And um, it's really like, you know, March is such a celebrated month for me because, you know, it's, it's also, you know, coming off of Black History Month, it's Women's Month. And also yeah. the only, it's the only month that gives you a direction. You know, it's, it's telling you to march. So I just think mm. that that need, that month should be celebrated. That's a bar. Hey, right, right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bar right, right. there. Yeah. I see yeah. how he's a speaker. But I mean, <laughs> no, but <laughs> even with, when you were saying like, you know, you feel kind of like stifled in a way and like yeah. stuck sometimes, yo like life will put you in this momentary kind of space of stillness yeah. f- to gear you up into a new arena yeah. that's surpassing where you already was gear. you feel me right. so it's like we we kind of look at it like no nah, i just want to keep going keep going keep going and it's mm-hmm. like when we we cap in and it's like yeah. oh hold up what, what fuck is wrong what's going on yeah. and then it's just like uh-uh he just got you we, we, we coasting we resting we taking that breather. Let it marinate yeah. 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 right stillness recollecting reflection all that mm-hmm. and then as you would increment, he's just gonna yeah, and put you, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, because yeah. <laughs> I feel that, man, I feel that, you know, to double back on your question, like um, back in school, I really, really wish, I mean, I graduated in 2016, Westchester University of Pennsylvania. Um, I feel like a lot of Philly people go to WCUPA. <laughs> but I was like, yo, I'm not going back to school. That's it. I got my, my bachelor's in communications. But the whole entire time I was there, I was vice president of Poesis, Poetry Club. Um, and in that time, I was doing poetry heavy um, before I transitioned into music, before I transitioned into writing a book and kind of coming back to where I started. Um, and I just wish when I was there, I had more of a community. I took advantage. I, I probably would have took more advantage of maybe like, joining more clubs or like a sorority or something something that has community because now even though in the city of philadelphia and i've been performing and i've been going out and i've been making a name for myself within my artistry it's like a lot of people know of me 
mm-hmm. know me. That's real. But do they fuck with me? Do yeah. I have that community? You yeah. know what I'm saying? And sometimes I feel like that's lacking. Um, but, you know, as far as going back to school, um, I also was thinking about um, going back for my master's uh, for psychology to, to be a therapist because I get a lot of DMs based mm-hmm. on the, the content that I post on my page, you know, just asking for advice or, or, or different things. And it's like, damn, well, should I go back to be a therapist? Should I get a, little, get a license behind me or should I do a life coaching? And so it's just like I was toying with that. And then it's like part of my brain is like, well, it ain't what you know, it's who you know. So maybe I can do this without a piece of paper, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> so. I don't know. It's that crossroad there. Um, and real quick, and I agree with, I, I can, uh, I had a similar thought of like, did I, like I said, I said, I, I could have maximized certain things. But even yeah. also just like, being more social and going out, even yeah. outside of school, because you know, I went yeah. to school in Pittsburgh. Oh, so, okay. and I was just never, like, of course, I've always hang out with my friends. Yeah. But I've never been like a, <laughs> like when people, like, you know, I've been doing this podcast since 2016. Mm-hmm. So people that's, that's coming here, they've been doing their path since 16, 14, 15, mm-hmm. 14, 13, whatever. Yeah. So they were talking about certain shit, yo, when this person was doing this, and I'd be like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I was going to Temple parties and 13, 12, I wasn't yeah. looking at who's on the flyer, who's yeah. the DJ, because yeah. that wasn't my mindset mm-hmm. at that time. I would, I would never thought I'd be a media pursuer or whatever. I want to do... I was either going to do screenwriting or be behind a camera, producer right. type shit, whatever. Right. So I was never even thinking about an in front of the camera type outlook of things, yeah. whatever. So by saying that, I feel like when I started this, it was more of a build up grassroots thing versus if I would have been more involved in certain things, it would have been, oh, yeah, oh, cute. He, that's what we doing. Mm-hmm. But instead, literally no one knew the fuck I was yeah. when this shit started. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I can. It's so easy to be like, oh, like, I could be here if I did this, or mm-hmm. I could be here. But like, I'm the same way. Going yeah. again back to your question, like, I, so I'm technically about to hit my quarter life crisis tomorrow, actually. So, like, I'm like, but I don't feel like it. Mm. It's Birthday's just like, tomorrow? yeah. Oh, yeah, happy, yeah. Happy right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Universe. Like, I don't, birthday. yeah. Um, but, like, when I went back to, or I'll, I'll go back, when I was an undergrad, graduated in 2017, and then I had that year off, had my gap year. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. I found Global Village that year. Mm-hmm. I feel like I found myself that year. It was like Rose Golden came to life that year. <laughs> and everything was like amazing. I did my first kickback for a cause, did my first challenge I had. I was in my life. I was like, mm-hmm. my, my body was looking good. I was looking good. Yeah, I, was like, first queen. <laughs> I was like, I was good. But then I went back to school and everything stopped. Like everything. I mean, all creative projects. Like mm-hmm. I didn't go out anymore. I went from complete just I did whatever I want when I wanted to complete structure Mm -hmm. so I just wasn't used to it at all anymore and same thing like I just completely my time was not my time anymore so for any of y'all that are listening that that are in the res life field you know res life is a very like uncommon field where it's like you have other duties as assigned and it's a job that's a live in and live on so I live in the building that I oversee so it's just like the the students that are in there constantly see me as the RD Mm -hmm. and I can't go out my room and like booty shorts and like slippers like Mm because i have to you know always remain in that fishbowl you know so yeah no i totally absolutely understand so i think now i'm getting to that phase where yes i've been in this 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 place of stillness and i came to that conclusion last night of like i've just been marinating I've been learning, I've been researching, I've been watching, mm-hmm. I've been observing, I've been listening. That's sponge important. life. That's yeah. Important. Sponge yeah. life. That's yeah. Important. Like I've been I've been doing everything that I think I need to do in order to prepare me for that next season. Has it been rough? Fuck yeah. 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 I actually was depressed this like during this time period, but mm-hmm. it's just like but all of that meant something and I'm just trying to zoom out and look at the bigger picture and it's just like Whatever happened here is going to prepare you for yeah. next. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm I always grateful. say that's one of my biggest things I do with patience. Cause, you know, like, it's so hard to be yeah. patient. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you want the microwave. Like Even when you yeah. hear every successful great person almost ever be like, oh, no, like, you know, yeah. I thought I would have had it by here. I thought <laughs> right. I did mm-hmm. patience. You know what somebody said, though? Impatience is really just doubt. Like, mm-hmm. that's all it is. Because y'all think it's going to happen? Right. right, you're you're, you're you not sure when's rest happen, when's happen, within like, that. Right, you're just you just don't really know when. But I have, t- I have trouble with that though. I have trouble with that. I have trouble with resting and mm-hmm. being still. Mm-hmm. Um, Versus, if you knew, like in December twentieth, yeah. 2021, if you knew your whole life was going to change, everything you thought was going to happen was going to happen that day. Mm-hmm. 
Waiting for that would be way easier than like I don't know no, when the fuck this shit gonna oh, happen. Would it though? Cause my my anxious so? ass would be like, okay, you just a first one. That's facts. And that's it's facts. like, how is it gonna change? Like again, for me, like where, who, what, why, when? Like all those questions. I so no, I I wouldn't. I would rather when the shifts take place. Know. When you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's why life life is gonna do what the fuck it wants to do. And facts. once you come to peace with that, mm -hmm. that's when life gets a hell of a lot easier. Like be prepared for whatever happens that exactly. you control what happens. Right. Like Right. Gotcha. Um, Can I add some more to that community? Bless. I, you, know, Bless. You, said, you were talking about um, not, not going out in uh, at Temple. You know, I, I would say, you know, for me, you know, I came from the inner city. So, you know, I came from 60 streets. You know, it's a lot of inner city problems, such as speaking about the trauma and things mm -hmm. like that. So when I first came to Temple, I went to a small school in Harrisburg first. It's called Central Bend College. And, and I love Central Bend College. That was the first place that, they, like, showed me, like, that it was another side of the world, but Temple really showed me. So I left Central Penn with my uh, associate's degree. And then I went to Temple, you know, 2016, and I was just like 60, I was tim timmed up, you know, the, you know, I was looking like a little thug in there, you know, I had, <laughs> my mindset was like, I'm just trying to get in and get out, you know, highlight the shorties and, you know, just leave. But when I when I met people there, you know, it really like shifted my mind. I was, this is the first place I always seen like black people thrive. You had like Nala, doing things you had diamond doing things you had like so many people in the, in this in the, in, in the black community mm -hmm. just doing amazing things. i'm like yo i need to be a part of that and temple really like shift my whole shit like it, it really shifted my whole shit I, this is the first time at central Penn. it was like kind of a culture like yo we're just yeah. doing enough to get by mm -hmm. and temple the black community is like yo nigga we not doing so that we're going to the next level and that shit pushed me to the it's max amazing. like it took mm -hmm. me to the max yeah. but it's also like building that everywhere like you know i build that in my church like my church people my church at mount Carmel, they love me you know and it's, it's mutual love you know at my job now some of some of the people don't like me some people <laughs> some people love me you know but it's really about building that community and that and that, that loyalty because that that takes your brand to the next level as well so i think like you know some advice is like this couch is a sacred place because you know you know someone told me a while ago like their their podcast is the reason why they're like, they're in the place they are. They, like the people that sit on the couch, like you getting our followers right after this 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 interview, which is like that's. And I met you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, like yeah, I, I like I said, I always preach when anybody yeah. comes on, just to have a cool, respectful, simple, yeah. enjoyable conversation. You know, yeah. Yeah. and to hear people's stories and experiences like that. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just had an episode with my guy Pastor Carl Day, and one of the things that we said in there, I was like. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, like, you know, I have certain topics on that. We have every episode is different from the last or whatever. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, even if I'm disagreeing with someone, I'm generally, I, it's never like in a malicious, negative, yes. venomous type way. Yeah. I'm usually only just trying to laugh or learn. That's yeah. it. So yeah. it's like, if I can learn something from we can mantra. share laughs. It's, it's like, a mantra. we're good with that. That's all yes. I'm really trying to do. Um, but in other news, when y'all with y'all friends, are y'all typically the friend that gets bad? Or the friend that's setting up the friend that's getting bad. Where, where, how do they usually align with y'all, your friends? Cause I feel certain people like, oh, damn, like, how's that? Oh, you want my friend, not me? You was like, all right, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yeah. Or you like, oh, <laughs> they just, they know, they know who run the circle. They know who knew knew. Like, that, that. talk. Man. See, you I'm shitting on your niggas? Huh? You, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm in a relationship now, but we talking know, about 18 <laughs> years ago, man. We talking friend. about like a whole life ago, like a whole but existence, I, I was, other that, dimension. I was definitely the savage in my life. Mm. So, I'm a kid. Talk I was definitely the savage. Talk but I also, overcame. <laughs> but I also was a disher too, so it, it, you know I was an all-around player. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Triple doubles. All right, I respect it, ladies. Listen here, okay? Right. Okay. No, I'm 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 pretty much out the game. I'm, I'm real like I'm to myself, y'all. So like I'm one of those women who when you see out they just kind of like doing their own thing. But they'll catch an eye and be like, oh good. But you still stay in your bubble. I'm one of those. But back in the day I was getting back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make it clear. Yeah, make it clear. Yeah, but you know, I'm just, I'm back just in the day, you know, yeah. two months ago. Yeah, you know, yeah, no I'm just in my ago. own lane. I'm like <laughs> real reserved. Season, no, I'm really reserved. I'm really reserved. I'm like, you know, like, there's different levels to, like, sex appeal, right? So it's like mm -hmm. the women who kind of flaunt what they got. Mm -hmm. Then you got the women who are super shy. Mm -hmm. And you got the extrovert women. And then, like, 
you have the 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 reserved sex appeal women. Mm. I'm the reserved. Mm. It's like it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, that mysterious. No, 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 no. But you see what I'm saying? Bro, bro. No, no, It's like that Me. mysterious, like, woman thing. Like, I don't know. Oh, that Baduism? Mm. I don't know. You can just feel that energy. It's kind of like. definitely energy. Like you can, it's it's definitely say definitely that. Definitely you definitely can feel that energy without having to be extra. Like, you know, I don't know. Okay, yeah. talk heavy. All right, yeah, so you shit on your friends. Cool, all right. I'm uh, not bro. Never. I'm about love. definitely saying somebody up. I was definitely the third wheel, mm. fifth wheel, seventh right. wheel. You like, domino every league in the Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, come on, come on. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, I definitely, it's like, as, and when it comes to setting other people up, I'm great. Like, keep it. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I got you. Yeah. But for myself, it's always just like. Fumble the bag. Completely. <laughs> you know, but, again. Not my time. Mm-hmm. So it's just marinated. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, still I'm, I'm marinated. Still marinated. Still marinated. <laughs> <laughs> How I feel about this, lady? So, um, I heard I was having a conversation with some girls, and they and they were disagreeing on like the best approach for for a guy to talk to. Them. One girl was saying like, yeah, like I rather I respect the man that come up to me directly. Mm-hmm. Other like, no, I don't really mind like either send a friend or send a girl, something like that, a third person type thing. That's, That's interesting. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please do not send your friend. I will really look at you really crazy if you <laughs> send your friend over. Like, I'm definitely a more direct, like, I'm literal. If you want me, you got to come get me. Like, I, I don't read in between. Like, that's it. Like, I'm, yeah. yeah, very much so. Just like, you got to you gotta be straight up with me if, okay. if you want that. But Even if it was like, let's say yell, I had a mutual friend uh, that was a girl, maybe. Okay. Could that work that, that way possible? That's... That's that's different. Like, hey, the podcast, no. that's like, different. Yeah, like, I feel like kind of different. <laughs> she said she's married to you. Like, so, <laughs> season almost done. Like, <laughs> that's a little bit different. That's different. I think a little bit different. Like, mm-hmm, of course, just coming in, just completely, just brand new. Yo, like my man. No, I don't. Oh, I don't like that. My man. I like that. Mm-hmm. I hate that at all. My man's in the corner. Yeah, but you know what? I'm also like. No man's actually gonna come up to me. Mm. I'm, I'm batting for the other team. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. No dabble? Nah. So, I like, I'm not a, what you would call a gold star um, lesbian. That means, like, no relations, no type of anything with the man. So, previously, college had, you know. Oh, and then, kind of, college, I kind of just tipped and kind of went into mm-hmm. um, the other atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But I'm all about the directness. I'm a Sagittarius all fire so it's like just, just shoot sad. that shit straight shoot it straight it's funny my girl just said she bagged me ah see Word. we're straight see, forward like what's your sign i'm a cancer Ooh, yeah. oh yeah sensitive uh, water go, yeah, how does that work that is like wow. next topic here we go <laughs> <laughs> she cried in her lap and uh <laughs> hell no um uh, any of y'all watch watchmen <laughs> not important so there's a theme from a certain storyline in the show where basically a guy or whoever person comes up to you and say yo like no we're gonna be together we're gonna fall in love and get married da 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 but it's gonna end tragically in 10 years mm-hmm. so the I'm person is like oh, fuck out of here da 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 but eventually you do fall in love with her but because she kind of completely forgot what he said in the beginning once that tragedy comes 10 years later you know is this a movie? Side, it's a show well, it was, was a movie really first. They made they turned mm-hmm. to a show. Oh, okay, that yeah. good. It was it was a like really great show actually, but um better than a movie. But so I thought that was interesting though. It's like, mm-hmm. would you put yourself through oh, that, oh, knowing that oh, these ten years though are gonna be the most blissful, amazing love of your life though? Yeah. Just to have it ripped away and to be traumatized by it. Is it worth it to you love know, and you know lost that whole? Do scene. you know how tragic it's gonna be? No, he knows he's just gonna be tragic. Wow. Well, that's just. I would still do it because I'm currently trying to practice how to be connected without creating attachments. Ooh. That's when it would be tragic. Oh, wow. that was a good one. So I would do it because it would that's the whole basis of love, right? It's no love and loss. It's love and experience. You're supposed to experience people and not cling, attach, possess, because then that's when the tragedy, who knows? It might just be that. They walk away and you might think it's oh my god, that's the crazy month. You know. Right. Yeah. So for the context, it wasn't yeah. just like they broke up. Like, yeah, what happened? Niggas start dying. It's oh, like it was like yeah. it, was, it was like real tragedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It wasn't just like yo, like you, you keep leaving the toilet seat up, bitch. I'm done with this. Yeah, like no, yeah, right, 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 right. but even Lauren London said that about Nip. Mm-hmm. You know, we here to experience people. So I mean, I would. That's my answer. Gotcha. Cashed in. How about y'all? 
<laughs> I'm still marrying you. <laughs> I'm still marrying <laughs> <laughs> Miss Marinate. <laughs> okay. I, I think same same thing what, what Tierra said. Like, I don't own anybody, and I really don't know when that time's going to come. I just know that <clears throat> during that time period, you taught me what I needed to know. Like, yeah, yeah. I just feel like you, you were in my life for a reason, and even though I can't have you for all of my life, like, I had you for the amount of time I was mm-hmm. supposed to. So it's just like, trying to learn non-attachment is like the biggest thing for me so absolutely instead of being um upset that it ended be happy that it happened in the first place yeah Mm -hmm. exactly but i'm trying where's the ownership in it what do you mean you said ownership. That you're devastated. Like, it's over, yeah. so I guess you feel like a person feel like I own. Oh, you why, own why can't it be over? Gotcha, gotcha, it can't gotcha, be over gotcha, without gotcha. me. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Well, I think, well, from my understanding, what you were saying too, like the whole thing of this is my person okay. when it's not my person, like, mm-hmm. and trying to keep in mind my that experience. I'm not a human. I'm a spirit having a human experience. Wow. So it's like trying to keep that and just like long on into it again like god's gonna yeah. call us home at some time mm-hmm. and we don't yeah. know when we don't know how why so it's just like trying to keep that in mind even for family members like it sucks to to even think about right. but it's it's just like we don't know when that time's gonna come but yeah. just know that we had a good run together so right. that's why i need that ownership for sure definitely, definitely easier said than done you know like yeah. but but is that on netflix is that still on netflix it's no cool. it, was, it was an hbo show oh, it's HBO. it ended like a couple months ago oh, okay Hmm. Um, <laughs> we to go watch. <laughs> <laughs> really good show. It starts off kind of slow, but but from okay, five okay. to ten, fire season like, episodes. Oh, it was only ten episodes, and it was just one season. <clears throat> oh, oh, that was it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Is that shit. what? Um, Regina King. Yeah, that was love. Awesome. It's yeah. really good. Okay. Um, how about say, da, 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 da. All right. So how about this? Real quick, super side of question. This is a safe place. No shame. Oh, what is the lowest amount of money you ever put into a gas tank? <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars. I was going to say, say three. Right, let's go, Kenny. <laughs> Yo, I was told this. Why is this some hard to eat? That Volvo is a gas guzzler. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, I was going to say, back then, did I do it in my truck? I had a car before my truck. I might have dealt with the truck before. But yeah, I definitely dip below five. That shit get you around the corner. I'm like, I'm just trying to make it home. I'm just trying to make it home. That is sad. Let me just oh, park no. the car. I figure this out tomorrow. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that make no the sense. The worst decision. Figure it out tomorrow. I'm gonna get gas in the morning. Dang, never, man, no, yeah, never, 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 never work. Always gonna be late. Hold oh, yo. <laughs> That's really how humans are stupid. Every time we do this stuff, I'm just gonna get gas in the morning. Facts. Every time. Facts. I don't be mad as shit. Try like. get in the house. Uh, yeah. Hate it. That's fine. But um, but yeah, I That's definitely. They, people shame me. They say type of poor ass, ghetto <laughs> ass. What was your answer? Below five, definitely. Yeah. What was but, the below five? Specific. It's a safe space. Definitely three. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't even go into the gas station. No lie. Hold on, oh, no, but then you go under the seat trying to find some change. No <laughs> lie. I'm saying I did a change shoe. Like I was like, all right, I got some quarters. Like I got like a oh dollar. Yo, yo, okay. yo! Don't look at me. Don't. Look, I'm on seven. Pump seven. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Put it in there. Don't 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 count out loud. I'll be outside. Yeah, like no, no, why are you not counting like that? No, you know what it is? It's four quarters. Just put this shit on there. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, but alright, cool. Safe place. Kings. Cool. Like, she all hype. Five. <laughs> Rich person. Alright, cool. Shout out to you. Um So how about this, right? So I'm watching the show. Kirby Enthusiasm fans? Anybody? Nah. Alright, y'all don't watch TV, cool. Just make gotcha. Um, you know, <laughs> running foundations, you know, writing, studying. Alright, cool. Marinating. It's me over here. Marinating. Uh, yeah. ah. But um, so a guy was messing with a girl. They're just dating. She said, Oh, I'm like, I'm going to the farmer's market farmer's market tomorrow. They only take cash. I'm gonna have time to go to ATM, da da da. Can I get sixty dollars from you? I give it back to you. And she might not have said that. Maybe she did. I don't remember though. So she's like, all right, cool. No, he said, all right, cool. No problem. He gave it to her. Next time you see each other, she's just talking like, oh, yeah. Like, you know, I am not going to a farmer's market. I ended up going to, let's say, shop, right? Ain't no, I use my card, da 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 whatever. So he was just like, okay, so you didn't use a 60 like, like, <laughs> like you said you were? And it became like a whole big thing. You got to watch the show to really get it, though. Mm-hmm. But ladies, because that's a whole thing now on social media. When you give a woman money, $40, that whole mm-hmm. thing, whatever. What are y'all? And then also, I was, uh, a girl I know, we went out to happy hour, and 
she has a, a whole actual king. Mm-hmm. But they was going through some shit or whatever. Yeah. So she's, so, you know, talk, entertaining a few niggas or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's like, damn, kind of, it's, it's an off pay week. I'm going to be on a brand oh, for a happy yeah. hour. So I'm going to hit this nigga $50. Mm-hmm. And now that a nigga gave her $50, he gave her 100 And oh. she said, well, he get points. So I'm just like, oh, <laughs> he points. wouldn't get points just giving you 50 He's like, no, because he did more than that, so he get points. Wow. So general thoughts and responses. And just, you know, there you got to say. I already have a problem with asking my partner mm-hmm. for money. A partner? Or, you know, it's partners and there's people you just inter- dating. Like, like. Dating? Oh, no. Mm. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a pride thing or if it's just kind of like, I feel like if I'm just dating you, I don't know you that well to be like mm-hmm. the, leaning that crazy on you to be like, yo, I need this money. Because it's not solidified. Nothing solidified. Mm-hmm. It's still new. So it's just like... Oh, because if it if the roles were reversed and somebody asked me, we only been talking for two weeks. You done lost your damn mind. Right. I mean, I'm kind. Fast. I'm kind. Like I'm really kind, and that's probably my weakness there. I'm kind hearted and I'm understanding, and that could yeah. And I might be like, damn, I don't know. I don't got the whole forty, but I can get you with ten. You know, ask a couple other friends, but I got you with ten. Count that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> but Go you know, me. I mm-mm, that's ne- negative. I'm out. And I have a thing where I just never want to feel like someone's getting over on me. Fast. So that's like, if you're my yeah. girl, we got a real rapport. Even if you're not my girl, we just have a real rapport. We mm-hmm. cool, whatever. You need some, if, it, if it's something petty, like, right, right. cool, and you, don't got, you need some cash, or you got some cash, whatever. Or if it's an emergency, you need, like, something, like, hundreds or whatever. Yeah. You can have it because it's an emergency or whatever. Then, where people start disagreeing with me there, it's like, she got to give it back to you? Like, yo, all right, all right, it was an emergency, right. but it was, like, a real lump sum of money. I think right. I should get it back. Like, especially we not on that real level. Like, you ain't my girl. Right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, definitely, we just... I just met you a couple weeks ago. Then she asked me for money. Yeah. It's definitely levels. Yeah. It's yeah. levels. Yeah. Just, by respect, just saying. You but it's, not, you it's don't how like some people, really. it's how some people word it. Because they're like. Yeah, I don't like entitlement. I just hate that. Yo, <laughs> can I borrow whatever, whatever? Borrow. Boop. Keyword. Give that shit back. Boomerang it back. Keyword. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like, I hear you women have. Use, I heard women use borrow differently, though. Mm. They're like yeah. I think we got different dictionaries. So like what like what borrow me like when a man looks into the dictionary and see, oh borrow, yeah, like impl- yeah. Impl- implication of return right. to sender. I'm gonna be like, that's your mind. Right. But I'm not gonna um, press you to give it back in like twenty four hours because I know it's a hard time, but like mm-hmm. I forget it. I mean, hopefully within the year. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Think. You, would, you think. would think. Um before so. we get to you, your thoughts, miss, on any of those. It's just money is just tricky to me, so I feel like when it comes to just yeah, I don't know. If somebody asks me, and it's like really recent, I'll be like, eh, I don't really know because I kind of like I think very deeply. So I'm like, okay, but I yes, understand that things get hard and everything. But if this is a priority for you, what were you doing with your money you start before? Like if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just like you know, if it's for rent, it's like what were you doing with your paycheck? Mm-hmm. before then and like that makes me think about okay if you want to be with me then how like you know what so I, 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 yeah yeah <laughs> so I, I start thinking really really deep and into that so like for asking people for money like i just i again i think as a woman i hold yeah. like i'm like i gotta ask you for money mm. i don't I, I can barely ask my parents for money. Like, I, I don't like to do that. You know, I can be very stubborn. I know that. But yeah. also, it's just a thing where it's like, I don't I don't need your money. So maybe that might, you know, change up. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But for right now, it's just kind of like, ah. And I just feel like. I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. Right, right, right. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> but wrong. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, and, that, and like, it's the air of entitlement. Because women, it's not going to be like, like it's not, again, emergency, cool. But the happier situation. Bitch, you don't have to go to happy hour. You're gonna no. stay at your ass home, and that like the fact like such a petty reason. Yo, if you get out, even a hundred. Oh, you get pointed now, man. I mean, I'm talking the phone with you now. So it's just like they just if she left listening, me I'm not bucks, judging though. Right, know, right, yeah. right, right. Like if they just left me forty bucks, <laughs> my nails done type thing. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to complain. I'm just like. That's cute. Cause that's a gift. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if, yeah, I'm not going to ask you, say, you to get my nails done because right. it's not a necessity. Mm-hmm. So that's that's yeah. Trick Daddy, what you be doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> down the street, like, what's up? Uh, how you be overcoming? No. <laughs> I think uh, it's two different type of people that ask for money. Because, uh, you know, you got some people, you know, that ask me for bread. And I be just seeing them on Instagram living these lavish life, smoking all the weed. You know, I'm living I'm like, this. I'm like, bro, I'm not. 
Yeah. What are you spending your money on? Disrespectful. Yeah, this is very disrespectful. It's some family members too, but hey. Yeah. yeah there's some <laughs> family members in there. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, when I I don't really loan money loan, loan money out unless like I don't loan money out. You know, it, it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm too real. You know, I'm like, like, I don't loan like, money like, out. Yeah, like no, that should never happen. Yeah, like, <laughs> you don't loan money out. You know, I I rather give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Than loan it to you, cause like. People say they're gonna give it to you, and it never happens. Facts. It's been years, been months, decades. Not yeah. decades, but it's been. It will turn to decades. It's, it, it'll turn to <laughs> decades. Yeah. But I, I just don't loan bread out. You know, I'd rather give it to you. You know, and that'll be my piece of letting me call. Yo, remember that twenty five dollars? You know what I mean? No, I don't remember because people got a tendency to forget oh, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, be yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 One thing Kevin Hart said I liked once, uh, one thing he said one time that I liked, he said, like, anybody that he's, you know, had a good experience with in at least some way of, of a good relationship, he's like, you can have, you have one time to press a button with me. Mm -hmm. He like, you got, depending on how you choose to press that button, what you ask for is up to you. But basically, you can ask for anything under the sun, damn there, with that one time. I'm going to give it to you, no questions asked. After that, though, it's up to you how you deal with that and how our relationship continues after that. But ain't no, you're never going to just leech me. You're never yeah, like, yo, yeah, like, yeah. I don't ask for 5000 but that was, it ain't really paying out how I thought. Can I get another 10 No, 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 nigga. No, she asked for 15 up first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> is anybody Muslim or have any family that's Muslim? Yeah. You or a family? I'm Christian, but I have family members. Oh, that's okay, cool. So, my girl, you know, she's going to hate that I said this, but whatever. She's yeah. fake Muslim. You know, she she has her ties and her family. But she ain't fucking Muslim. It's cool, though. It's no right, shit. Right. Like, no, I don't really give a fuck. But, so, I had, uh, I was thinking, like, yo, like, what if she just woke up one day and, like, yo, like, no, nah, I'm done being a fake Muslim. I'm about to go hard with this shit. And, like, start garbing up. Yeah. And I was like, of course, like, on a, that's great. Like, you yeah. found your true and your belief system. But... I'm supposed to be cool with that though, yeah. like, and I was I was having this conversation. They start calling me crazy. I'm like, yo, like, I don't think I be. I don't think I think we not aligned no more. I don't think we 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 centered. We we not. But then that would be your choice, yeah. Right. So, right. am I crazy for being like, yeah, I don't, I'm not really feeling that. It. It's not. It's not the same lifestyle. It's compl- It's too too much of a, too too much contrast now. Um. Or should you just respect it because it's such a, you know, I think great you, thing. I think I'm not. I think you probably should respect it and let her be on her path. But yeah. I know for me, it would definitely change. I'm I'm a hard Christian, you know what I'm saying. So like, it it a change. It, it is a changing, and I respect it. You know, you know the lifestyle that they choose because they're finding themselves. Mm-hmm. But that's not the person I fell in love with. You right. know what I'm saying. You know, I fell in love with this loose person. That's like, you know, you garbed up. It is it's definitely different, and religion is definitely tricky. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying because. Muslim family, I know my Muslim family members are very strict when it comes to religion, marriage, all that stuff. No no Ramadan coming up, they not eating. I'll be mm. hungry as hell. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'll yeah. be hungry. Yeah, she do it for one day and go, all right, I'm done. Now. Yeah, I got some people. But it's definitely tricky, you know. Um, religion is definitely tricky. I, like, I come from a Christian family. A lot of my my cousins and my, brother, my uncles are Muslim. It was just very awkward at Easter. <laughs> Niggas would come yeah. over and eat, <laughs> but yeah. it'd be like we're not going to church. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was very, it was very interesting. Yeah. Okay, I watch our ways. What are your thoughts? On mm-hmm. I mean, I, I agree. I think you should respect. Well, should right? You're gonna yeah. do what you want, but um, ultimately, respecting somebody's you know religious beliefs is great. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's what I believe should happen, but. Yeah, it's like you said, I think if you don't agree with it, if your beliefs, you know, y'all don't agree, then, and if you know that you don't see a future together with that, then just be honest with that, and just be like, okay, then, I think, you know, but, but, is it, but, I was gonna say, is it that you are then fearing whatever could happen in the future, or, like, because I think that's tricky just to be like, mm-hmm. okay, now you're hardcore, and now we can't do this anymore. Like, yeah. is it worth giving it a shot and then being like, you know what, I tried this out. Mm-hmm. I don't think this I can do this. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. instead of being like, no, you, no, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, I think it's worth a shot. Mm-hmm. But you're also only, you know, basing it off of what you have seen and what you assume mm-hmm. from Muslims. So it's like you haven't actually experienced someone like that mm-hmm. very close to you. So I think, True. you know, that it would really be all on what you 
what you really want to do and fucking what you really believe. So, but um, I definitely agree with that, and he made a good point. Also, where I feel like it's like a, I bring this up a lot, and like you know, sir, and like bad old sexist conversation where it's like, mm-hmm. that's not who. Um, someone told me a quote one time. He said, you know, this or not. He said, woman into relationships, um, trying to change a man. Mm-hmm. Men into relationships, hoping a woman doesn't change. Um, oh, I got something to say about that, right, sir. All right, get your girl. I got something to say. Right, so hold, me... your, oh, hold your clip. Hold the clip. Like, <laughs> safety on real quick. That, that is a shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shock. yeah, yeah. Um, but like, I definitely feel like no, that's not who I fell in love with. That's yeah. not who. No, that's not who I drafted. Like, I just, yeah. That's not who my number one draft yeah. pick. Now he's like, yo, I didn't. We didn't need a stretch four. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> yeah. So like, once you start changing, it's like. Mm, and I feel like that can just be applied to anything. Like, <laughs> I know it was some some sport time. Oh, I, I didn't know what it was. I got it. Yeah, I, got it. I, got it. I know but, y'all was talking. To but it's like so. I feel that's like like a parents wise belief system. Whether I'm a man, I work like yo. You know what? I think you should. I think you should just work now. I think you should be the only income. It's like nigga. I know I got with a man that works. So it's like I feel mm-hmm. like when people start just change things. Like, well, you love me, just deal with it, or we find a way, find a new love out of this. Like, nah, mm-hmm. like, that's not what we established in our contract. When my agent looked over it, yeah, with my cool. lawyer. Wait, me, can I call you out point. real quick? Right. Let me call you out real quick. Ain't no renegotiations out here. No, because I can tell you. Ain't no contract here. <laughs> that's not here. who I was rigid. five years ago. That's, that's rigid. That's that is thing. mad rigid. And I'm going to say it's rigid. You're rigid. 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 Because listen, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you Talk come into the, you come into this this journey together. Mm-hmm. Separate paths. Do do do. Two people meet. You have this love, and it's like, all right, bet. I want it to stay the same. Cool, that's fine. However, you have to remember, healthy relationships have a set of autonomy. Y'all came in with two different paths. Y'all on this journey. That don't mean the path is gonna keep y'all synonymous. For sure. So, my thing is back to your question situation. You have the choice. Because of your autonomy. So, no, I don't think you're wrong by saying, oh, well, if she want to go hardcore, then I'm out. That's fine. But also keep in mind that, like, if you love this person unconditionally, they, they're they going to change. They're going to change. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's really, like, a test of love to be like, all right, well, if am I still aligned with this person mm-hmm. through all the different... Um, what do I want to call it? All the different... It's not like personas. That's Fancy not the word. Identities and, and stages, you know, and yeah. phases of her life. I look at it this way, though. Okay. Unconditional love, right? Just because you love someone forever unconditional, don't mean you got to be together, though. Facts. Facts. So I also look at it that way. So it's like, yeah, like, all right, this relationship doesn't make sense anymore. This relationship isn't intact. But, you know, the love is still there. Type yeah. Right. Absolutely. And I, think that's I, res- I think that's very respectful. Like, just knowing that that like we were talking about in the previous question you know that season is over you know what i'm saying and i think that's important you know because we break up but all you hear is about this this nigga ain't shit this chick ain't shit you know what i'm saying then it's just a oh, toxic really it's a, fucking with me then you saying all that yeah. shit afterwards <laughs> it's a toxic thing you know one time i thought about like what would she say about me bro like, yeah like, you get to know people's real character Facts. when they angry Facts. hurt Facts. you know what i'm saying no of course I, you know she didn't say this shit when she was hurt yeah. all right we was over it all mm-hmm. i'm like nah, i'm clean of course we already see what atmosphere you're in these days miss rose <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um i don't know where this question came from but um so let's say you were dating a guy dating the king mm-hmm. y'all past ended mm-hmm. um then you find out he's actually gay mm-hmm. would that do something to you where it's like Oh, like was he always down low or this and that or I'm happy he's like what do you think your thoughts would be with in or so have you ever experienced that? No, I to my knowledge I have right. not experienced that. Um and with those things like it's so hard to prepare for that. So in that moment I don't know how I would be. Mm-hmm. Um but I am someone who likes to believe I'm pretty non judgmental, so mm-hmm. Would I be like, oh, like, 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 no, because if that's what you really believe in and identify mm-hmm. as, then I can't be mad at you for that. So, like, I don't know, like, I feel like it sounds so cliche, but like, no, like, love what you're gonna love. But honestly, like, if that's don't what makes you that's... happy, then that's what makes you happy. Would I question things during the relationship? Yeah, would I be like, yo, you did do that one thing that one time? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, but, but, uh, you know, but that would be, you know, naturally just like my overthinking. Mm-hmm. Sure, mm-hmm. I'll do that, but. Would I be mad at him? No. No. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know how you would even, like, go about that. But, yeah. yeah. 
Another thing, you know, it's not me speaking. This is history speaking. Okay. <laughs> but you know, a lot of times women, oh, I wasted time. I'm like da 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 da. So like, I wasted that's time. He was never. Uh, so that's I think that's where maybe yeah. some of the anger might come with certain, mm-hmm. with certain yeah. people, or whatever. But that's what it was. I was having a conversation with some girls, and they and they like it was like three or four girls, mm-hmm. and they all said that, yeah, we liked a guy that ended up being gay, and, and we didn't see a baby all so I was like. Wow, that's wow. really interesting. Like, and, I've, and I've heard some girls say, yo, some girls' gay darby broke and shit like that, whatever. <laughs> but I was like, wow. Like, I wonder how many girls have experienced, like, yeah, I did like a guy. We talked. He ended up being gay. I just didn't know about it. Mm. I, I think she said she had one. Mm. No, no, I was oh. going to say. Oh. No, no, no. I was, <laughs> was going to say something, but it, it was completely off topic. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's okay. Cool. Um, anybody you ever experienced? Experience? King and end up being a different atmosphere. Nah, nah, no, nope. not that I, nothing I don't know of. Okay, yeah. I would be all, I would be all with it though. Like, well, it's also it, different for men and women. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what she into now. Yeah, let's go. Because <laughs> if you want a threesome, would you be mad if I put up with my dude? Like, that's, yes. that's a conversation. Yeah, 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 that's yes, like, I'll be extremely mad. Why though? <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely it. Yeah. No, that's what I will say. Different. It makes sense. It's different. Like I, like I'm, I'm not judging a woman saying she wants two dicks in there. I'm, like, oh, I can see that could probably be super pleasurable. You think I'm gonna be one of the dicks though? Is where you got me <laughs> fucked up. There, though. It's like that's where yeah. you got you clearly. We have two different outlooks of me. Yeah. So that's where I like. Nah, yeah. I wouldn't be into that. So why would you even think that's cool? Yeah. But if we break up, yo. I want. I want to have a threesome too. I'm like, I guess yeah, that might <laughs> feel good to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Two yeah. girls feel good to me, so yeah, I get it. some dudes like, no, she a whore, she dirty, why she went all, right. all these dicks yeah. in there. It's like, dicks feel good to women, I'm talking about. But, um, listen, listen, huh? I was just mm-hmm. saying, like, listen, however people choose, they want to be fluid, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know, do black men actually not marry black women? Uh-huh. Are you from I, have that a, I have a really interesting theory about this, talk to me, Kate. and um. It's a lot of psycho- psych- psychology involved mm-hmm. in this. All right, so I have been doing... So I'm teaching, right? Mm-hmm. That's me, the obvious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I am in... I'm, I'm, like, observing the kids, and I'm observing the trauma that these kids are experiencing at home. Right? So just walk with me. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing the interaction with the black boy... I teach at an all I teach at an all boys school. Boys like I'm seeing the interaction between the the black boys that I teach and the interaction with the white woman as I'm a teacher. Se- as in the teacher, right? Um, predominantly in inner city, you know, statistics show that white women are leading in all all categories of teaching in inner cities. <clears throat> but I'm seeing the interaction and the love that these boys are receiving from the teacher. Like, is they're very affectionate to the mm. bl- to the white teacher. More patient. More patient. Mm. More patient. Mm. Because pa- pa- oh. probably at home is very toxic, right? Mm. And I'm looking at. I'm like, I think this is why <clears throat> black boys start identifying and liking white women is because of the trauma at home from the the black mother. And I'm not saying because of other elements as well. Yeah, other mm-hmm. elements, and they feel that that love and affection from that white teacher. Mm-hmm. Now it's not scientifically proven, but I'm sure if I, I did some so. really d- deep down research and get the psychology degree, I think I could prove that that is where it comes from. Then you go into like and all that's deep rooted from. It's deep rooted. You know, it's, well, the, right? it's deep. It's deep rooted, and I think that is a theory that uh, that I'm, I, I think that can be proven. You know. I, you know, for me, I love black women. You know, I, you know, I couldn't see myself, and I'm, I'm, I'm Japanese and black. You know, um, and a part of it's probably because I haven't seen my mom in 22 years. She was deported, but I've been raised by my black side. You know, so I love black women. You know, I, mm-hmm. I love that shit. Like, it's no woman Speaking like a black woman. I love you, know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, hey, wait. <laughs> it's nothing like it, you know what I'm saying? The, the food, you know, the experience, you know, that culture, you know, it's that relatability. It it, it just means so much more than me going into other races. Now, I don't judge other people That's... that go into those races, but I'm just saying for me per se, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, I come from a family with no marriages. I, I never seen black marriages, I'm about to you say, know what I'm saying? Don't... So that and I am successful, just never seen it at all. Yeah, same. Wow. Anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's just like <clears throat> For me, I want to be that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's I, right. Yeah, yeah I, I, just trying to think, because I, I went to an African center school mm-hmm. up until eighth grade, so of course, 
there wasn't no white devils in there. But um, <laughs> at, in high school, yeah, like, you know, I'm just trying to think about, you know, if anybody was like, you know, I love Miss Coles and shit like that. <laughs> also, high school is going from elementary mm-hmm. school and middle school, so yeah. whatever. Yeah. All right, ladies, any thoughts on Because I, I feel like this narrative has been going on for a while now, yeah. of our generation specifically. Mm-hmm. But then recently, I started seeing, like, the counterattack of, like, no, nah, there's actually studies now that, no, nah, black men, that's false stats are talking about. Black men do marry black women, da 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 and, and then I always look at like everybody I know. Of course, that's just a bubble, and you know, I'm only mm-hmm. knowing the places I've been and people I've talked to. But I just don't like. like I just don't know that many or hear that many black people. I feel like oh, like, they would just never be with a black woman in the future. But yeah. also, mm-hmm. niggas hide their toxicity. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ah, uh, I, I mean, I ain't got much to say about it. I just. All I will say is that maybe um, that could be a thing or is said to be a thing because a lot of black women, myself included, we we hold ourselves with this kind of, um, <clears throat> it's not an attitude, but this kind of sway about us where it's like, I ain't got time for that mm-hmm. type of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been don't waste, a lot. Mm-hmm. Don't waste my time. I could do this myself, da da da, and sometimes that can kind of cross wire black men right. at times. So I can see why they'd be like, Too weak fuck niggas, that. Man. You know what I'm saying? I need something more lenient, maybe, I guess. Mm-hmm. But that's that's kind of my take on that. Yeah. This topic is always really interesting to me because I'm actually the product of that kind of relationship. So mm-hmm. my father is black, my mom is white. <clears throat> and it's. It's definitely an interesting conversation, I would say. Would I say all black men? No, you know, I definitely can't say that because I've seen, you know, some beautiful black couples. Um, But I also, like, have questioned why my father chose to marry a white woman. And um, was it because, like... And, (laughs) again, it's so hard to say, and it's, you know, because I know that he loves my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, was there trauma involved? Was it just, like, a... No, you know, I love this woman just because... Like, genuine you know, love. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think just because, too, like, <clears throat> growing up, any black man that I would speak to and ask why he doesn't like or why he dates these certain... Like, why he dates white women is because he says, I don't like black men, I don't, or I don't like black women, I hate their hair, I hate yada, 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 they have an attitude, yada. So it always that came attitude. from... It came from why they hate this race instead of why they love this person. Right, it's like you default. Know? Yeah, More yeah. More so than, like... Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I I, I would really be interested in that theory and yeah. what that looks like. Um, but, again, this is really tough for me to kind of talk about because I haven't been as open with it mm-hmm. and because I, I identify more with my black side. Mm-hmm. And growing up in that crossroad was really interesting where, like, I look this way and people will always see me as, you know, this way, but I also still go home to a white mother Mm -hmm. and the world is still like, oh, like, fuck white people. And I'm just like, sometimes I'm guilty of saying that too, because I was like, but my, like my, I love my mom. I I love my grandma. Do I hate white people? No. You know, and it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's so interesting being in that. Cause again, I I look in the mirror and I see a brown person, but I look at my mother and I see a white person. So it's just. And your theory is accurate because you'll see that in movies too like what oh, freedom writers free, mm, blind side mm. it's always somebody white that's yeah. like pulling in yeah. the black athlete the or the black sky- yeah. what was that movie with um, Sandra Bullock Blindside? no free, freedom that, writers right no no that's that's um, how we explain oh, yeah, the, oh, oh okay yeah. is it blind side the yeah. football, football yeah okay, blind side okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay um with the he was a big dude big yeah, guy, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. but I definitely think that um like even like I I, I can't think <laughs> of a time I ever eat like you know seeing or hearing of some viral story. I can't think of a time I ever really heard like a dude like yeah I just hate the way black women nose or lips their hair. I really think it's always just like a person. I feel it's more so a personality, and then it's that, and then they be like oh her nose is big too. But I, I really don't think it's not like just pure of, attraction. Like, I think it's really just weak nigga. I'm just out chasing. Okay, I think yeah, it's I was like gonna, I was gonna say that because I think like I think one of we the niggas most... just speaking out loud and just grasping grasp for straws to just tear it down. Mm-hmm. But it's like, no, yeah. you just have That's internal it. conflicts <laughs> yeah. and you yeah. need therapy. But like, you know how to tell me this girl, you know how to tell me that every black woman just isn't attracted yeah. to you. Like, right. I mean, I'm just not rolling. I, th- I think like when we talking about, I think like the most sensitive and, and correct me if I'm wrong it, about the black woman is the hair. You know, it's like 
the kinky hair, you know, I think like some, you know, some some men are, are you possibly turned they off from weed, that. Yeah, we hate weed. Africa, yes. You know what I'm saying? And I think like if we really like every every woman has their flaw, just like every man has their flaw. Mm -hmm. So it's like well, except for, me on haircut day. Huh? You like me with my beard no, right now? No, I said uh, me on haircut day. Oh, I, I have said, flaws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, what? Okay. I, what? Wow, oh, Queens, damn. Black women ain't gonna hold me down. I'm gonna go to the other side there. Like, damn. Like. Oh, yeah. No, but everybody got their flaws, King. Like, everybody got their flaws. And I think, you know, I just, you know, I, I love seeing black couples walk down the street. And I think also another part of it, social media plays a big part of it as well. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. We see these like cotton and no, nothing against Kanye and you know Kim, but you know we see these interracial couples. And again, I'm also interracial, mm -hmm. you know. But you know you see that, and I think like it, our our communities, black community, we, we like catch on to shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We we like where's though like you know I'm happy we had a black president like Obama changed the whole shit. Like you know he showed us like what did black family look like. Mm -hmm. Now we got like Will Smith, and I think like Will Smith for me is the best example. Like for me, like, I want to raise my kids like. Willow, Willow is like phenomenal, and he like Will Smith gave his family the opportunity to, to be the whoever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? Like dye your hair, even within cut his your marriage shit, you know with Jada, because that's a whole other thing. Yeah. yeah, it's just like I really appreciate their relationship. You know what I'm saying? We gonna overlook what Jada did recently? We gonna overlook oh, that? What? What? The, the pictures? Yeah. Snoop Dogg thing. Oh, I, didn't I, didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I wanted to see it. Really? Nobody said it. Inform so no air laws should be marinating and just studying and explaining. Inform me. I didn't see that. All right. So this wasn't even on topic. This is a what's good with the Gail King thing? Yes. Go ahead. So Snoop said what he said. Okay. Everyone saw that. Yeah. Cool. Called her a bitch. All that shit. Whatever. Da, da, da. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He said. I know he called her out, but yeah. I didn't. Okay. Yeah. So you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So it was interesting. Like the initial reaction to that consensus wise was like. Either laughing or like, no, you right, because she was wrong for doing what she did, da, 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 whatever. Then, like, just somehow it shifted to, like, black men hate black women again. Like, how dare you try to silence someone for doing this or that? Because then she say, now you're doing it to me? Yeah, disrespecting your yeah, okay. yeah, elders. I saw that clip. Oh, I saw that. So then Jada brought Snoop on. She's like, yeah, Snoop, when you said that to Gail, oh, yeah, I felt like you told me. She says, nah, I yeah. can't do anything. Willow, my grandma, we yeah. can't speak up. Mm. I was like, bitch. What? Like, what? <laughs> Where is the correlation? Yeah. And I was. I guess the woman correlation, yeah. the black woman correlation. I, I didn't see the full video to really get the whole yeah. context because I don't, I don't like. It was really just about race that she was like talking. Jada or who we talking? Jada, like, like she meant just because Gail's like a black woman that she. Yeah. Felt Wow, okay. And I was uh, like, I and I saw that. I didn't see Snoop it. just said she's a bitch and she shut the fuck up. Is that what you're yeah, you're just like Kobe, basically, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know the, yeah. yeah. Snoop went in. He didn't say like, all black yeah. women. Oh, okay. That's why y'all can't yeah. talk about sports. He didn't say yeah. nothing yeah. like that. That would have been, like, if he would have said same thing and then said, this is why women shouldn't talk about sports. All right, that's where, that's oh, a God. blanket statement mm -hmm. about black. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Okay. But he just said, no, you, specifically Gail King, shut the fuck up and. Why, and yeah. Oprah too, though he went at Oprah. Yeah, 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 for sure. They like the dynamic duo. Yeah, that don't mean all black women. Right, That's, I would agree. Yeah. Uh, I see. To me, Jada just to me reach to I make it again like another black man versus black woman thing. Where it's like, mm -hmm. can I, can it's I, shit like this that make it a thing. Like, can I can I ask a question? And and this is like out of ignorance. Is there such thing as toxic femininity? Mm, I never thought. Hold on, let me think. Yes, because yeah. because some women say it is not. You know. I, I just have. Wow, I never heard him completely like that. Time. I never heard him. Right. We take yeah, that, no. that, that, yeah. that, that secret sexuality shit mm -hmm. and manipulate the fuck out of people. Of what? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Because I hear that. I'm not. Uh, uh, now who reach, reach, reach. <laughs> reach. <laughs> reach. <laughs> reach. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. We just, the, we just, the. the what? The what? Take accountability. No. Are y'all close to us? What do you mean? On the like, top scale. On the scale, level of yeah, scale, scale, like, like... I mean... Let's say we at 10, supposedly. Where are black women at? It's no, like... It ain't like no all power. This is why, why I gotta be a rock. This, this is Generally exactly speaking, why. Not all. No, yeah. I, I don't... Because she said... I, I would jokingly, but Simi said, yeah. saying women are more toxic than men. Mm -hmm. So, there has to be some type of rating or scale or some way to... You know, because y'all disagree with it. Y'all say, I don't know. Niggas be wildin'. That's what kind of bitch y'all said. So, what's the comparison? Okay, so in in what I think, but how how are we toxic? Do we mean to ourselves? 
do we mean in a relationship? Do we mean to society? Y'all go so around I think it. There's definitely. <laughs> Y'all like LeBron with it. We like, mean like, 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 men and women. Okay, thank you. No, but like, but again, so I think it yes. really depends on what we're talking about. So it's like if it's in relationships. To I would say y'all men. might be leading would, in another category. Yeah. So we so, can, and we're gonna have to take up tally marks. <laughs> so yeah. it's no fair. It really, no it really depends. Answer. It depends what we're talking about. I think to to level who is more toxic. And then, yeah. and I'm, I'm also a situational type of person. I say, too, back from the ones who's trying to work on yeah, that self healing and self love. It's definitely situational. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. been, I've been in some interactions with you know some toxic women. Mm-hmm. And um, I. It's a safe place, Kenny. Speak on it. What's I also, up? It's <laughs> a safe place. Now, I've, I've been with some, some crazy, crazy women, you know. He overcame. And I overcame. You know, now I got a really That's good, good one. But, you know, also, I can say myself, I was toxic, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, you know, not yeah. knowing... Sam's your My whole book. You know, not knowing, like, yeah. what, are, what are boundaries, like, you know, what is me, like, what is being a man in a relationship? I'm like, yo, this is my... Like, I used to be like, yo, this is my shit, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, now it's like, yo, like, let me support you and what you want to do and, you know... Support I, your calling. I, I, support, support your calling and yeah. not block your calling. I'm, try, I'm also trying to get better with that. But I've been in some shit, like, yo, you... You can't go here, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't oh, go this. Yeah, you were toxic, toxic. Oh, no, no, that was the, I was getting that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, I was cool. You that. was the victim. Mm-hmm. Cool. I was the victim. I was the victim. You, so I was told you gotta Yeah, that's another yeah, story. Gosh, yeah. 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 Not, like it was not a curfew, but like, you know, you can't hang out with these two type of people, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? A it's curfew like, was wow. Yeah. And it's a certain place I can't go. And, and some was beneficial, but some some of that shit like was got control. got, yeah. got yeah. controlling, you know what I'm saying? I think you put you just touched on a good, you know mindset like we all are toxic to somebody yeah. at some point in our mm-hmm. lives like all of all of us all of us all of us have been toxic to somebody yeah. Yeah. No, i see why you're marinating we, we, you had to wow. come out of that oh, phase wow. of toxicity <laughs> come on, come on. Said, no, but, okay. but i'm saying like like we we hurt somebody at some point sure. we made somebody mm-hmm. mad at some point so Absolutely. we have to be able to own that and just be like yeah like yeah, accountability, boy. Yeah. Listen, I, that heavy. I, listen, I have done some shit to some women that I do, I do not speak to me to this day. Mm-hmm. I'll be on social media trying, like, you know, congratulations. How do you deal with that? I have a real issue with, like, being the bad guy in somebody's narrative. Yo, oh, and I gotta, shit. Real, I gotta release shit. that real because shit. it's going to happen. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. But yeah. it's like an internal thing with me, and I know that's my own work I gotta I think, do. I think mm-hmm. it's more so, like, that mm-hmm. person has to be ready to heal and reconcile that conversation because i feel like yo i hate having like someone being mad at me so i'm like i'm saying i'm like trying to run up and say sorry like yo my bad right. like i wasn't in the right mind speak but yeah and they still gotta heal as well but that's what i'm saying and sometimes those people be like nah i i, I gotta set up a boundary and yeah. really sometimes it's not even a boundary that shit is a barrier yeah. they block you on everything yeah. that's a barrier that's facts. Yeah. so shout to y'all <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care about that. It's See, like, because cool. also one, if I could, I got boundaries. I have barriers <laughs> and all type of shit. Like, if I don't fuck with you today, I'm probably not gonna fuck with you forever. Yeah. Damn, um, is it like that? Yeah, cause I don't fuck with you. But I can see on like really hard lines, on little baby shit. Like, damn, it's like that. <laughs> I'm I'm a a I guess, I guess. I'm yeah. a Capricorn. I'm like forgiving. Hey, I like cats. I'm yeah. forgiving. Like, I don't, give a I don't care yeah, what you no. do. Because we learning. Same. I, I, you know, I wish I, I wish I had, <laughs> I wish I had some of that though. Like, sometimes I'll be in the, like, yo, I should not be fucking with this person. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I I'm, a, I'm a big pro- pro- proponent of self preservation. Mm-hmm. Right. So I always look, I got to protect my peace, protect my energy, Absolutely. protect my, you know, boundaries and barriers. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you show your hand. And it affect me to a certain degree. It's like, yeah. right, cool. I don't need to see that no more. But it's I cool. definitely got some instances like once you like it's some shit people did to me, and I'm like, yo, I can't fuck with you at all. Mm-hmm. Right. Like yeah. once you show that real raw you, it's like it ain't no coming back. But like right. simple, <laughs> simple stuff is like mm-hmm. we could catch up, and you know some some niggas like that time passing. Yeah, time, time passes, and you can heal, heal that wound. But some, I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's some shit you could never double back on. You know what I'm saying? It's, sure. it's, you got to stay over there. You know. Mm-hmm. I'm just being um, peace at closure. Sometimes yeah. is not an option. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So of course, not in this current relationship because this is the best relationship you're having in your life. Yeah. <laughs> but in past dealings, yeah. <clears throat> has that ever been? So, and j- the general question before we get deeper in, how important is sex to y'all in a relationship? Ooh. It's- it's Sorry. important. Sorry. Yeah. It's important. It's important. It's really, it's, it's really a bond. It's, I'm learning that sex is a bond. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. It is yeah. a soul tie, boy. Yeah. It is a soul tie too. And 
And if that, I feel like <laughs> if that's lagging, it's like, yo. No, no, you just. He's like, oh. She had to sit there. Right, right. <laughs> I was on the house. Put him with the chest. He's like, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm tired. Voodoo. I feel like, you know, up. same way if anything, if, you, if it's lagging there, the whole thing can be off kilter yeah. and yeah. You know, it's, out of, it's out of whack, whatever. But um, so I feel like, you know, historical. Mm-hmm. Men, right? The, the way it's depicted. Men, you know, we are so sexually charged. We got to do this with us. That's why. Cause everything be straight with the woman. Yeah. But, you know, if your dick go hard one faithful day, you're going to make a dumbass decision. You're going to fuck the girl or whatever. <laughs> um, like, and I, I like the 80 20 dynamic rule. Okay. Like, Yo, like, was that uh, 80, was losing the 80% because nobody's perfect. Mm-hmm. But everything, all she is, all he is, it's like at least an 80%. That's a strong B. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. a strong B, whatever. You're going to lose that for a 20% because you might say, oh, damn. She probably be good, or she probably got fire head, or we ain't fucking a few days. I'm really horny. She was mad at me, or this is it. I fuck her right now. Yeah. Is it really worth it, type thing? And you know, um, shit, um, <laughs> the old me, yeah, but I'm, I'm start, I'm, I'm in this space, like you know, um, it's really not worth it. You know, I'm it's, yeah, it's at, rarely ever worth it. Yeah, yeah it's. I, I listen to a lot of Devin Franklin, the one he's married to, uh, Megan Megan good. Good. and um, he was saying that's all ego. You know, and I was like, damn, it's just for the flesh. Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. and then I look at the past me. I'm like, damn, that's really because after you catch your nut, it's like, oh, which what, what you about to do? The post nut, it's like, like, it's man, like hit you yeah. like a train. It's like because before you get that nut, it's like, yo, I'm really invested. But once you can release that shit, it's like, yeah, bro, like I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. Yeah. And it'd be my house, but yo, I'm gonna you wanna stay here. I'm gonna go out. You know what I'm saying? So. But now I'm I'm looking at it like yo this shit is really not worth it you mm-hmm. know and and I ain't gonna lie like we all get temptation you know what I'm saying like temptation is inevitable but it's like yo it's really not worth it you know what I'm saying like once you really got a bond that shit sacred you know what I'm saying it's like that's what we cherish and and it, it it's really cool you know what I'm saying like you and having that partner that you you can talk to provide to and then you go fuck a chick and I'm not I'm saying this but I'm not perfect you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so I don't want y'all to see this. In 10 years and like, yo, when are you a hypocrite? You know what I'm saying? I might fuck up. But in the space I am now, I only can live yeah. for the day. But, you know, I'm really, it's really not worth it. And, and temptation, and, I, and I'm, a look, I'm a good looking dude, you know what I'm Talk saying? Talk at me, King! Let's go! So fun. And, and I go out, you know. That just be on me. Like, yeah. that's the AKA. Like, it's so happy, yeah. You know, and um, it's just really about, you know, boundaries and, you know, like, you know, being being comfortable with myself <laughs> and knowing, like, the big picture. So I'm, I'm good, you know, I'm good. Mm-hmm. But it'd be tempting sometimes. Mm. But, you know, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in a good space, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a good space. I feel you, King. Hey, you can Ladies, yeah. you first, because you was triggered. Yeah, yeah, no, sex is very important. I, yeah, I'm also working through my ego right now, so I know mm. that's a big part of it. But if you can't, like, if you can't make me nut, like, I don't... It's... It, Sex is very important to me. I think just plain and simple, it is It is a connection. Like, it's yeah. a lot deeper than just that, you know, mm-hmm. like, that nut. It's, like, that body-to-body. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't just lay down with anybody. And if I'm that doing is. that with you, that means I really fuck with you. And I fuck with your spirit. I fuck with yeah. your energy. So, to me, that's really important. And it's just, like, I'm all about experiences. Mm-hmm. So, I just really like the experience of sex. It's not mm-hmm. just, like, you know, the, the, the act. act. It's the experience around mm-hmm. it. So I just, if somebody can, you know what I'm saying, do a thing, a little nasty, like, I like that. I really like that. Because it's like, then you're taking the time to get to know me and my body, and I'm not just your nut. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm another experience for you mm-hmm. as well. So Would you say you're easy to please? Or maybe on a scale, you're a little more difficult in this experience? Because some girls are like, you know, they don't really take that much. That's the way to their bodies like, are. finish? Or? Yeah, to nut. Yeah, they just go... And some girls are a little more it, difficult. It also depends yeah. how, how good you are. Like it, it, so it, yeah, like it, I, I'm just talking it, about because some some girls they know it just yeah. take a lot for me, and other girls like yo, I know. It depends I the how name. much foreplay. It depends yeah. like how, how much I'm the into connection you. with yeah. the guy. Right, right. I'm about to say if I don't fuck with you, honestly, you wouldn't even be touching me. So that's yeah. that's just kind of how it is. But it really, again, I think everything depends for me. It's gotcha. Very situational, but cool. yeah. Um, I guess. For me, it's a little bit different because being with women mm-hmm. now, I mean, I've had my experience with men, but being There's with so women. It's so much better. <laughs> it's so much fire. So much intimacy. Oh my God, we hold hands. It's, <laughs> but you know, it plays a part. The the whole like, 
connection definitely in communication mm-hmm. and that yeah. kind of non-sexual form of intimacy 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 mm-hmm. um yeah. plays a big part for me when i am having sex in my mm-hmm. relationships with women um more of a pleaser or a giver i mean taker or giver everybody i'm sorry um neutral okay yeah 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 um and i just how think- about you real quick <laughs> more pleasers giver. or like you like to be pleased giver I'm a bull. I'm I a like bull. to take yeah, action. All right, bro. I'm I'm really all around, man. Like, I like both of them, but like, yeah. I definitely. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm a pleaser. I think I'm, I, I'm a giver. I, I would lean towards pleasing, though. You know what I'm saying? But I like. I like both. You know what I'm saying? I like to be kinged up too. You know what I'm saying? I was saying this, in a relationship, I'm a giver. Yeah, like, in a relationship, it, it gets me off to you're, make you're, sure she's extremely like, pleased. Like when you like see that. a girl like, like going oh, yeah, crazy, bro. it's like yeah, yeah, you know what's going on. Like you know what time mm-hmm. it is. Like, That's why I, I've, yeah. I've had a conversation on here where I said, at least where I'm at a point in my life now, I prefer sex over head. Yeah, because, 100%. Yeah, because oh, yeah. pleasing her makes the whole experience yeah. better versus yeah. me just getting, of course, I, every nigga loves me worship sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I feel like that's what head is, for example. It's like, oh, but it's like. It's like you got to appreciate that, you know, this dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just exactly. being real. Exactly. But when, but when, you, when you, like, when you out here, like, you single, you know, when I was single, I didn't give a fuck. Like, man, I ain't trying to be on that, yeah. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't give a fuck. You'll hear one minute, man. Give a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to come back. All right, two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> See? Damn. Women would never. I did want to ask, though, y'all, so what is your favorite non-sexual form of intimacy? Or active. Okay. Um, man, all right. Well, there she go with the segues. Favorite non sexual. Yes. Trying new food and taking naps. Mm. I really like that. I don't know. I just like it. Yeah. I like to be cuddled up and yes. go to sleep. Yes. That yes. shit, yes. nice. Right. Yeah, cause all I feel like these type of questions, I overthink it. Like, that was really I like was a regular. Really overthinking. Yeah, yeah like, that was. Out. Yeah. Right. I was like, it can be anything. I was like, I was right. Really we got to be like under the stars, no. ass thinking in the garden or something. Like, oh. anything. All right. All right. It could be like holding hands in a car. You know, when your yeah. shorty got your, the hand okay. on the knee. Like, shit right. like that. Right. It could be anything. I'm really trying to. I like when my hair is like that's like boom. This. I like that, you know what I'm saying? I like when my hair is touched. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. All right, one thing I can think of right now is that my final answer though. Is what I got right it's now. Okay. Yeah. Pressure. No, but like only because I feel it symbolizes like our routine things. Like, cause she's mm-hmm. the cook and I'm the cleaner too. Mm-hmm. So when we operate at the same exact time, I just like those like moments. Well, she's cooking, I'm cleaning up after her so doing cooking. the dishes. That's really right. Cool. Right. That's, cool. that's, that's good. good. That's good. That was a good one. <laughs> no, that was a good one. <laughs> that was. That was. Yeah, so I like. She like, oh, you, you gonna put you gonna put the food up? Got it. Did your job. Right. Get the tub water out. They got it. Yeah, so. Right. That's, that's cute. Cool one. That's my cute. That's also binding too. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. That's also binding. Mm-hmm. Um, did anybody? I know it's a no, but y'all don't fucking watch shit. Did anybody see that? Just Mercy? Who? Uh, what is that? I think it's gonna say some regular shit. <laughs> right. Like, um, like, I was like, I got I'm this. For it. Mark. I mean, Insecure. you know, just Michael B. Jura <laughs> and Jimmy Fox in it. You know, no big deal. Like two pretty uh, prominent uh, black uh, actors. Like, hey. oh, anyway, it. it's not important. <laughs> it's just about a guy. You know, typical. Uh, black impression shit from the 80s. Oh, on, he's on trial? Yes. Mm-hmm. Didn't see it, but Definitely. I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm, I've been a proponent of like the death penalty, you know, for a long time. Thinking like, no, a certain shit people do, they should be killed for. Like, that's mm-hmm. simple. However, I've also been, you know, especially in regards to black people, how we get framed for shit and, you know, bad <laughs> yeah. trials and evidence or whatever. I've always had that back of my thinking like, when is the when is the right time? Like, yo, there's no more to be proven here. Mm-hmm. Die, nigga, type shit. Mm-hmm. But there was like one of the few movies that I've seen. Cause, you know, we've seen Twelve Years a Slave. We've seen you know, jail focused movies. That was the first besides like Green Mile, which I actually really like. Mm-hmm. But that was like, was good. yeah, but specific to Death Row, and also specific to the Black experience on Death Row. They alter it shifted my perspective of being like, cause it was one line there where he was like a, I won't say all that, but like one of the dudes on there. <laughs> Um, he was on death row. He, no, I actually deserved the beer. Y'all, you know, y'all got framed or whatever. No, I deserved the beer. They was like, mm-hmm. just because you kill someone don't mean someone deserves to kill you. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I was like, just that blanket, simple statement. I was like, yeah. Yeah, like who is we or anybody like, no, yeah. like this fucking executioner can make yeah. the call. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't. I don't against know. it? I, 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 I think, I don't really, I can't, <laughs> again, it depends. depends. I think it depends what you do. Like if you're out here murdering 30, 60 people like that. Right. 
different, but also who am I to play God? I think mm, that's yeah. like that's <clears throat> my my biggest thing, right? Yeah, it's like then I then I have blood on my hands. So h- how am I better than you? Mm-hmm. You know, so even if you did it out of yeah, you know, greed, you know, whatever. But it's like I also did the same thing that that you did. So yeah. how am I any better than you? I agree. So I don't. Uh, I don't agree the, the whole playing God thing is really you know it's like it, it's the same when when people kill other people it's like how can you determine when that person's life was over they had a mm-hmm. full life ahead of them mm-hmm. and then you took that away and yeah. that that wasn't your decision to make so mm-hmm. I yes. have a hard time with that I agree I agree I agree I don't I agree too. with your choices but that don't mean I got the right to take your existence so yeah I, I'm bad with this because um <clears throat> I don't believe like it, it's it's really interesting because I just really hate rapists. You know what I'm saying? That's, like I, I just like if you rape someone, I think that's like one of the 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 biggest punishments you can ever do on this earth. Yeah, and it's like, yo, what about killing someone? I think rape possibly could be a lot. I'm saying that conversation on here before. Yeah. It is yeah. so much shit. I and I, I never been experienced, but but I could just I can't even say I can understand what it feel like because I can't. And I can't imagine the trauma of that shit, but I, I just I just don't respect whoever At rapes, all. you know. So I just like I was I, I feel like they deserve to die, you know what I'm saying? And I'ma stand on that, you know, like killing is very like super situational. It's super situational. Some some like if you put a if you put me in a corner and you tell mm-hmm. me I'm 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 gonna come out that corner mm-hmm. you know, on top. But it's like rape is like it's just some shit you just can't play with, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to say that in that situation, yeah, but then you got the other side of it, it's like, you know, um, black people or any type of person getting framed for it, you exactly. know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. then you got the the rape culture, like, you know, people are screaming rape, and it's just like, it's just like I so mean, many no, variables yeah. in it, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's a fine line, but it's just like, you know, people that are out here raping women, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's fucked up, man. And, and that's one thing one person one 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 type of person that I can't respect, you know what I'm saying? It's just give it a read. Gotcha. Um you ought to feel like yo, like I might well in your heyday. And you know, you can't really um <laughs> every, every <laughs> feel like, yo, like, I'm gonna trap this nigga. Like, yeah, like I, I might I really might want a baby with him. I mean I'm I'm we're thinking baby names and anything and those thoughts like are like actually one? trap and like Okay, like figuratively speaking, yeah. I, but, I told you I'm literal. I told you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you I, just you really just start looking down the line like we don't have pretty baby. I'm a dreamer. I'm I'm a Pisces. I'm a oh, natural God. dreamer, so absolutely. What but I, I already know me and I already know me and him relate. Plenty of women done planned our baby showers I mean, and trying to get my jeans. Right. If women could, I probably would have yeah. had four. Oh, okay. Four love childs. Because, mm. you know, I'm well, just, See, when I say hey day, I really meant hey day. How many you would have? You would, these, these, these Pisces dreams would have came to fruition. Like, okay, but do you mean... All right, is Jackson, it, all right Jackson family. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but is, it, is this men that I have, like dated before that i'm just like yeah or just like man i've seen i don't know if that sounds weird. a picture with like damn we would we might make some cute kids yeah, like, no, you're that, actually that, encounters. Kind of, okay well the other one didn't really happen that, that often so okay. <laughs> but right. um encounters what you got some nice nice smile yeah my, my, right my, right my, yeah. 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 No, yeah. no no um i actually did want to make a sidebar the mm-hmm. comment about the interracial children too just like how people fantasize mixed yeah, children yeah, mm-hmm. sure. what did i say that did, did I say better size? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was a sidebar. Anyway. Um. Yeah, uh, that I really. I mean, like, I think I thought about it in the moment, but then I was like, "Yeah, I bet you know you would not want to kid with this man." So yeah. Dude. Maybe mm-hmm. one person. Mm-hmm. Maybe one. But there was no one I was like ever in love with to say like, "Yes, I would yeah. want to have your child." I mean, you had, so, I mean, you had one out there. Yeah. These women could have really locked you down, man. I would have had a football team. Talk right. heavy, hey, King. Talk I'm heavy, so man. Right. Talk heavy. You know, <laughs> we <laughs> overcame <laughs> that. We overcame the traps. Like, yeah, we got out I'm of there. I'm talking mad shit. I'm probably like, nah, like, I would have had like six. <laughs> <laughs> you be in it. When you be yeah. in it, you be in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I have overcame. <laughs> you know, like, oh, that so, matters. I'm that here. Yeah. Marinating. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, what about this? How many you got? How many I would have? Yes. Well, he said one football team. I'm talking about a, 
like, the league. A league. Like, <laughs> association. Like, what are you talking about? Like, special teams included. Like, like yeah. Damn, like, so yeah. wait. want the eyebrow. It's really the eyebrow yeah. that's made you like, oh, that man. on my baby. Like, this shit. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you what they say. I don't know. It could be lying. <laughs> okay. I don't know. But, um, y'all prefer to be held or do the holding? Both of them. Oh. You said both of them. Both of them. Why not both? I like to be the... I like to big be spoon. a big spoon. Do you know why? Because I like to like monkey on their back, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. this day back, mm-hmm. I like to be like this. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like I can breathe and then I can move. And if I want to break apart, I'm like, all right, bye. I feel like I I'm it. trapped I when it. I'm yeah. get, get uh, off me. <laughs> I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? I feel more like. So. Agreed. I like to cling. I used to think <laughs> that cuddling only was like spooning type thing. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I prefer my. Preferred cuddling position, me on my back and a girl laying on my chest. chest. That's my yeah. chest. I prefer yeah. that because like, I can lay in that position forever. I'm not going to move. Like, I'm comfortable. Your arm don't fall asleep. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. None of that. But like, as far as like the spooning, I hate that. I hate me being big spoons. Like you know, I do it sometimes. I got to take the L. <laughs> but if, if I'm laying over here and you just want to spoon me, knock yourself out. I'm already asleep. Do what it. you got to do, whatever. So, but yeah, oh, I prefer God. to be held. I suppose. No. <laughs> The chest is like, like some th- th- in spots I like the, the the chest, but I do like the spoon because you know you could get a little dry humping going on. Oh then, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That is, Back. you know what I'm saying. Well, I also so, say that like I I only spoon to fuck. <laughs> like, oh my god! So, so, <laughs> like my girl, I know if I'm ever coming, if I'm ever big spooning, that's what I'm trying to yeah, do. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the pre sex, you know. Right. Yeah, that is, that is. You get the one. Yeah, so what's supposed to happen right, right now? Right. That's right. real. I yeah. saw a girl say they on Twitter. Uh, sometimes we just want the body temperature warmth from you. Just because I put my so. ass on you. Don't put your ass nah, on me. You yeah. put your ass on my dick. What's supposed to happen now? Exactly. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to try to play dumb. They don't know, like. <laughs> Y'all be warmer than us. You know women be anemic, bitch. Get out of bed. I'm this done. is true. I, I can attest. I make, I make it real warm. Um, <laughs> yeah. Lady. Yes. Atmosphere. I'm in the lady. house. Lady. Yeah. Well, yeah. in general, right? So, Lori Harvey, feature. Mm-hmm. Do we know who these people am. are? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, I was having a conversation. And I was like, yo, Lori Harvey, bad as shit. Mm-hmm. She's different. different. Yeah. But I think it's interesting that you would, you know, of course, you can fuck her, you want to fuck, have fun, da da da. Mm-hmm. But I think it's interesting that she's being so public with someone like Future. Or mm-hmm. And I was thinking, if I'm, in that, if I'm thinking me, if I'm in her shoes, her stiletto or something, mm-hmm. I'm a super bad bitch. Young, which is like 23 or something. Am I really going to be parading around with a nigga with like eight baby moms? I don't think so. Because, like, I could literally get, I already got money. And I can get any nigga I want. Why be so public with a clearly reckless type nigga or whatever? And the girl I told me, like, no, oh, but it's future. I'm like, but she can get anybody, yeah. though. So, any thoughts? I hope she has a He's plan. Okay. I really hope she <laughs> plan. got some, like, that Five she just... Plan. What's, what's the book her, her pop rule, Steve Harvey? How, think like think a man. Like a man. <laughs> mm. oh, <that>. Yeah, <laughs> I don't... Could you see yourself doing it? Like, does that make sense to you? I, no. Okay. It's not even my type of dude. Whole, yeah, yeah, it's no, not even my type of dude. Not at all. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't like that. Like, like I, I feel like females want the alpha male. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Future is the alpha male. Is he, though? I mean, I would say, I would, I would think he's the alpha male. Like, you know, I feel like women want the alpha male. Like, mm-hmm. for sure. Now it's like, is Russell Wilson the alpha male? Yeah. Uh, See, I love okay, their relationship. So, I do not uh, find what, them attractive. What is your definition of alpha? Because he knew what he wanted, which was Sierra. He got it, put but a ring you, on it, impregnated you. her. Now twice, what? Like good he father, he, he is providing for her. Know. He's got a job. Mm-hmm. He's a good man. He's a man yeah. of God. What about Don't that? Don't seem to be petty. What about that? Right. Does not seems scream to be alpha like male. Is is or are we saying that alpha male means that you? Are fucking all these women and you got no, all these no, 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 no. Yeah, so like, I, I'm the, I don't think. What does that mean? I don't think that is. Russell is corn, but that don't mean that alpha male though. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, is. would you would you say? And I don't know, I don't know Sierra from a can of paint, yeah. but I'm saying, would do you think a girl from Atlanta? 
like country south, like you know what I'm saying. Would like a dude like Russell, like for <laughs> real, for real. I don't really know either. Like, yeah, but it, really just, know. just the culture, the, the, the yeah. pacing of where. And it, and it, and it could be. Yeah. Who, who am I? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I will say this to his I, point I, though. I do understand. In I, I do her history, yeah. Russell Wilson is the anomaly. It's like you know, she was with uh, Future, yeah. Bow Wow. Facts. Marsh Stoudemire. Okay. Okay. Fifty. Fifty. You like fifty? Yeah, yeah I do remember that. When they did a song, it was, like, they, it was around that time. No, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just because they did a song. Oh, it was like that. reports. <laughs> so <laughs> there were reports. Come on. I did not know that one. So when you look at that history, <laughs> Russell will be the anomaly, like the type of yeah. dude, okay. surface wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because she was chasing the wrong dude. Like, you know? That, 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 like, that, that yeah. could be true. That yeah. could be true. But I just feel like. But she's still kind of young. She's 23, right? Hell no. Sierra? Sierra? I was like, oh, Lori. I was like, 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 Lori. So it's like, oh my gosh. I'm thinking if I'm a girl and niggas come up to you with sneeze on me, bro, bro. <laughs> so if I'm a girl and do got eight baby moms and I got money and yeah. I can literally get any dude I want because she, yeah, or I would she already been talking to some dudes. It's like yeah. that's dead. Wow. Like, that's dead. Like, that's a lot of yeah. drama. Because again, that is what a lot of what drama. what makes me different than the last one? But on the flip side, I literally like yeah, I'm I'm the chick that locked this nigga down. They always think that. Exactly. I'm just saying, I'm the whole change of man mentality. Mm-hmm. But what if, what if she I do? will not be the one to do that. Yeah, no. But what if she play future, though? People, like, people are saying that, too. It's like, it's like an over and, and under type thing. What's going to happen? She, she had who? Trey? Who she else? been moving. Who, who Puffy. Else, yeah. Puffy's son. That was the thing I really yeah. did. Yeah. So, like, that was kind of wild. That. Like, I, don't, I, didn't get I, don't, that. I don't I don't really know if this but is she like is that. Her mom is beautiful, too. Oh, insane. What? Oh yeah, I think she did just out here living her life. Hold on, did, did y'all know that Lori Harvey is not Steve Harvey's actual daughter? Yeah, no, it came from a I major Lori. Did whatever you know that, that, know that her brother is her cousin? What? Oh, Who? Yeah, the mom Who's was with a drug dealer. Yeah. He got killed and got with the drug dealer's brother and had another kid or shit like that. It's something like that. Oh wow. Yeah. I, mean, I don't. Oh, that's what she. Uh, that's where Lori learned from, man. Yeah. I was about to say, like, she looks just like her mom. I was like, if she had even no, the, house, the, the no. blood in there, she would. I don't know. <laughs> no, she's she's beautiful. But she, she is, is beautiful. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm glad it, all agree. it don't make sense yeah. sometimes how beautiful some people are. I'd be like, Fact. what? Fact. Why? Like from Texas, I listen. Fact. I don't know what water y'all be drinking. Can Beyonce, I get some of that? Meg, like, is it um, what's her name? Stop. Oh, Megan. No, 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 no. I say. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 she oh, 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 like I just, just, they just bad. beautiful. I just yeah. think they're, they're very beautiful, naturally beautiful. <laughs> he would be bad, but Meg, what? <laughs> I don't think she bad, yeah. but Where? you okay. know, that's mm. just, yeah. Either way, some people got some water that. Facts. I mean. <laughs> would y'all rather tell someone straight up, yo, it's done? I'm gonna feel this no more. Not, not so many words, or go ghost. Oh no, we we talking. I'm communicative. So yes, I have to talk everything out. You're not ghosting me. I can't stand a ghost in that. I mean, yeah, I'm ghosting. I'm ghosting. I'm ghosting. I'm ghosting. Yeah. I definitely, I, I'm a ghost. Why? That's like just a cop out. That's an easy route. And why route. I ghosted you. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm just ghost. Damn. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's why I'm like, yo, we good now, right? Forgive me. I'm over now. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely ghost. Like, you know, it's like, yo, like, you know, I don't be the bad guy. It's like, you know. Just read the signs. The signs are always there. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm learning. It's I'm, over. I'm also learning. Like, I'm not <laughs> confrontational. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. I have to get better with that. I don't like conflict. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get better with it, but I you, I think it, which I'm trying to get over. I think that going around it is better. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm trying to get better, mm-hmm. like like yo, going hitting it is better than you know going around it. So that's that why is. I'm a ghoster. You know what I'm saying? The only way out is through. <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's real. I mean, not I, I every fucking talking yeah. and conversation yeah. has to be and conversational, right? right? And everybody yeah. don't deserve the conversation. What? Is that fair? Is I, that fair? I, I, okay, it depends. Uh, is that depends. fair? That's definitely also true. But how about this real quick? That's I have an element to it. I saw some girls talking, and it was like my my ex took me out to dinner on Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. drove me home, and then said he wanted to break up with me. 
I saw that. Yeah, hey, and another I girl said, that. I, I got it. Yeah, that's what Well, wait. she's talking about her ex. Oh, okay, oh, gotcha. Then okay. another girl said, a guy took me out, bought me a Louis duffel bag, and then broke off me. Okay. I'll so the they like, what are wrong with men? Like, why? Like, and I was just like, maybe I was yeah. trying to like soften the blow. Yeah, I'm like, that's interesting. I never thought yeah. about like softening the blow that way. Like, maybe that's possibly better than ghosting. I don't really know, but they must have some bread. Facts. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just rather you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm definitely me. guilty of ghosting. Like, I've done it before, you know, but also my conscience, like, man, go just, just go talk to this man. Yeah. And then, like, I'll, I will, but. It's been two years. Let him know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, of course, it's it's easier to ghost somebody, but it's also just like, I I know I didn't like it when it was done to me. So, mm-hmm. like, again, that whole, the whole deep thinking shit. I'd be like, mm-hmm. okay. I mean, just, I'm well, like, all right. Like, mm-hmm. let me go say something. I did I, was trying. I have been ghosted. I've never been ghosted. Lies. I mean, I mean to all about to say. Lies. Mm-hmm. Wait, mm-hmm. That's why she went to other industry right now. She got ghosted. <laughs> I got ghosted once. I got ghosted once. Yeah. Did I get ghosted, George? You did. If you got to think about it, you did. It's cool. Come over to our side. No. Cool. Oh, we're over here now. Am I, I guess like if the tech thing dwindles down, yes. and then you just yep. stop yep. talking to them. That was ghosting? Yeah. Nah. No, that's not no, ghosting because no, it's like no. it's it's I'm mutual. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. still it's dwindling. So it's like you talk once a week. Yeah. Now it's just like they, yeah. initi- they initiated. It. Yeah. Now I just like your picture here and there. Okay, yeah. peace. They, they Ain't no bad blood. They, yeah. <laughs> they didn't initiate it. Oh, they never know. Yeah, no, shut up. I did text back that time, but I don't know. But did you guys enjoy yourself today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this been good. Good episode, good conversation. Good conversation. Good What's the title of the episode, though? Feel like it was so- something with sponge and something else we said earlier. Sponge, something. marinating. No, it was something with another. <laughs> I, I like it. Right. Surrender. Word of the day. Oh, something. We might do marinate, but it was, I like alliteration a lot of time. It was sponge. Another S word popped out oh. to me. I should have wrote it down, but I'll get to it though. I like marinate though. Sex. I like good with that. Sponge right. sex. Right. Sponge <laughs> sex, boy. <laughs> um, so. Let people know where they can find you at, and you know, da da da. On Instagram, I'm Leno underscore over Kane. Right, cool, right, I spell Leno. L E N N O L E N N O underscore underscore. I think I got one underscore over Kane. O V E R C A N E. Motivational. Anything you got coming up? They won't be no more. Oh, I got March four, March four, uh, March twenty first. Um, it's community. Only month for the direction. Yeah, only month for the direction. Uh, nice. And uh, the theme is going to be uh, finding my new voice. You know, I'm not the speaker, but I got a great, uh, great speaker coming. You know, it's really for my neighborhood, but guests are welcome to come. It's really like a community event. You know, we, we serve food. You know, um, it's like a it's like a black gala, but it's free. Dope. So it's something we just put in my neighborhood every year. It's our fourth fourth year, and you know, we're we're on to something. Cool. Sounds nice. Good. You miss? Check that out. I'm gonna follow you. You should come. Yeah. Guys, where, where Instagram. It looks like Tierra Raw, but it's not. It's Tierra. T H I E R R A W. That's it. Tierra. The W stands for my last name. Walker. For those who don't know. Tierra. Yeah. So Tierra yeah. W. Um. Upcoming events. Yeah. I'm gonna be performing. Um. What is when is the jam? The March nineteenth. Mm-hmm. So I'm performing. Um. Just kind of doing a piece that I just recently wrote. Um. Just about the book and then just kind of doing some other stuff and then my book launch or book release whatever you want to call it i don't know i'm so new to this it's kind of like a whole new venture march 28th this okay. is going to be a saturday probably six to nine so just be on the lookout follow me for updates on that but those are the two kind of big in texas big big things what's in texas I have a conference. I'm going That's to a That's a badass yeah. woman she talking about. She going to see what the water is. <laughs> 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 right, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to say my book? Like, my my book. Hey, man, listen. I just put a post up the other day, and it's like, my baby trying to cut it short. No, I was like, yeah, we can, you know, uh, get your okay, shit okay, off. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, find me on Instagram at Rose Golden Official. Sounds and spells like it is. Rose Golden Official. Upcoming... I graduate Wednesday, May 13th, 4 p.m. That is Wednesday, May 13th, 4 p.m. Everybody yeah. invited. Everybody May, <laughs> Wednesday, be out there. Uh, probably sometime in the summertime. So I'm not I don't general. know. But um, upcoming, I, I feel like I'm kind of gaining back my voice this year again. Mm-hmm. So I will let y'all know when I got some things coming up. Yes. I definitely will be this year. But for right now, I am studying and marinating. <laughs> oh, Rose, I need a shoot in March. What's up? We got to reschedule. Listen, okay, Ashley, RG hours. Flicks yeah. on, on Instagram, RG Flicks underscore, that's F-L-I-C-K-S. I'm about to start putting some of my 
photos up there pretty soon. So gotcha. I'm on it. Yeah. Thank you guys again. Great episode. Thanks. Ryan Kill Off, talk about it. We out. Word. Peace. Peace. Thank cool. you. Hold on, let me tell y'all because I mean I mean no for real.